touchdown to introduce. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the 2018 BDO World Trophy. And it's time to get our women's semi-finals underway. Played over the best of nine legs, we now introduce to the stage a BDO World Trophy qualifier. A Denmark Masters semi-finalist, now a BDO World Trophy semi-finalist, Roz Bulma! We now introduce the current holder of six BDO World Ranking titles, a Winmore World Masters and Lakeside World Championship finalist, Fallon Sharon. Here we go then. First women's semi final. Valen Sherrick taking on Roz Bulmer. Roz has been on a real roll in this competition. A wonderful 4 3 win over one of the top seeds, Dieter Hedman, in round one. And she really took apart Sharon Prince, who was the sixth seed in this competition in the quarter final. Won that 4 0. She said in her interview yesterday she's going to have to go down to the shops because she doesn't have enough knickers and socks to last her through to today. That's how little she was expecting to be here. And she's really, really enjoying it. Really brilliant personality to have on the, on the final day today. And uh, Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. First been a pleasure like interviewing her. So she's delighted Demo. to be here, but she'll know she's in for a real test here, John, against a Fallon Sherrick who performed a bit of a miraculous comeback in her quarterfinal. 22. But who is a recent double winner in Belgium just last weekend and seems to be growing into this competition. Yes, yeah, she's a terrific player. And, um, from the early days, a former youth champion. She's been around a while, even though she's now only still 23 years of age. Uh, the number 59. seven seed and... Uh, she disposed of Rian Griffiths 4-2 and then found herself 3-0 down against Maria O'Brien uh, who actually had 43. a dart to win the match uh, at double 16, didn't get it obviously and from then on it was all Sherrod 60 and uh, with real quality darts, two 180s, a 90 finish on the bull uh, really did 83. Her superiority in those four legs. But I've been very impressed with uh, Ros Bulmer. Beat Dieter Hedman 4 3. And again, could have gone either way. She had a 117 finish in that in the opening leg. And of course, in the second leg of her win over Sharon Prince, she had a 118. So, second leg, expect a 119 finish from Bulmer. That's the trick anyway. <laughs> Wouldn't that be some lovely <laughs> symmetry? She's in at the treble again here. 140 in her last visit. Can she go one better, maybe? One on the 40. But sets herself up beautifully on 80. Fallon, who started with a ton compared to Ros's 22. It's almost gone the other way in this leg, but Fallon is coming back. That's some brilliant darts. First maximum of the match, and it means 80. this 80 may well have to go. Tops she wants for one zip. 14. Oh, just over Fanny the wire now. courtesy of that 180. That's a tidy two data. 18, double 18. 
Yeah, that's Kim Shaw. Well, 18 the double 18 for an 18 darter. I'd Second say that was an 18 Fallon leg, wouldn't you? <laughs> anyway, it's a winning leg for Fallon Sherrick. Wonderful 180, which, by the way, is 10 18s. And. Uh, 81. Here we talk about symmetry. There's some lovely 18 symmetry there. And for Fallon, that could be a really important 16. leg to win because she has struggled at the start of her matches to really get going. And if she can win the first leg, might just settle her down quicker and get her into her scoring because this is what she's all about. Second oh, 180. No. Brilliant dance. And this is the quality of the young lady hit two 180s in 64. her last match in that remarkable comeback and by my she's finding our treble 20 with uh, 17 great regularity nailing it left herself 170 whether intentionally or not I do not know but it's 90 there seconds. anyway, and if there's a lady 70. in World Darts capable of taking this out, it's Fallon Sherrick. I am a touch surprised that <laughs> One <of the> <laughs> a, a Trample 20 didn't go in, but it was some recovery. Left a 36. That's great thinking as well as great play. Great play. Great thinking. 13 data beckons. She wants Fanny that double 18 again, the one that she hit just seconds ago and yeah, again what an excellent leg a 13 dart leg for Fallon Jarek my my Ros Bulmer done really well to get to this stage she's got a little bit longer to recover here than that we has been the case uh, all seven legs were played in her first round win against Dita Hedman uh, she'll be hoping to have at least seven legs in this one because at the moment it's all Sherrick. Yeah, it is, and there's not an awful lot that Ros can do about the first couple of legs. She played really well in the first. 41. It was on a pretty decent total after 13 darts, but if the player goes out in 13 darts. I don't care what match you're at in this competition, you're going to struggle to top that. 59. Yep. has really, really started well this match, but a slow start in this leg might just give Roz the opening she needs. Treble would have been handy. So 2 nil. First to five now, as I say. If it went nine legs, then Bulmer would be delighted. Even if 16. it went seven, she'd be happy because she'd have to have had a couple of legs on the board. And with darts like this. Oh, with darts like that. It could happen. 120 left. Quality darts from both the players here. And that's Sherrick. Absolutely wonderful. Down to 190 with that. 134. Now she'll go. All into the one as it turns out. But that's a, a dart she couldn't. She can ill afford because if Sherrick gets a score here, she can threaten this leg. A ton would be very nice indeed. 90 left, you see. requires 79. 18 leaves tops. Only her second daughter double in the match. Needs it. Does he get it? Funny you require and 90. You can only assume. Fallon will take this out. Double 15 for three zip. Yeah, Brilliant. That's and, and that's the level. Like. That's Fallon what Roz Fallon has to be. Superb from Fallon Sherrick that. Yeah, it was the previous visit as well. The ton. Remember, she wanted 190. She hit single 20, single 20, and got the treble 20 with the last dart to leave 90. Effectively, she, she got 150 in three darts. Treble 20, the last visit. The last dart of the previous visit and then treble 20, double 15, just like that. That's the quality of the player, 16. quality of the individual. And um, admirable. Here we go again. Here we go again. 
One on an Not end 20. quite what she intended, or indeed what I thought. But 120 in two is pretty good going. Yeah, it was a rank last start that from Fallon Sherrick. Not threatening the treble, but 120 is still a kind score to her. She'll be delighted with the start she's made. After three legs yesterday, it's Maria O'Brien. She was 3 0 down and can't repeat what she told me, sh what she thought of the darts <laughs> that she threw in the first three legs yesterday. She'll be far more pleased with Sunday's offering. Escaping that dart. The double 16 that would have given uh, O'Brien victory spurred Shere Khan and I think shook her to the bones and made her realise that uh, she had to get going and she certainly did and uh, she started brilliantly here today 127 now treble 19 she wouldn't have gone for the bull because bull is on a non-finish a bogey a bull a bogey 100. Good turn now, 66 80. left, 80 for Sherrick. Well, if you can get 19-2, you can get 18-2. Not now you can't. Went the bull route and wasn't too successful in doing so. Now, Ros has an opportunity here. Good last start from Fallon to tee herself Ross up. Sherrick requires 66. 66 means treble 10 first, gets it, double 18, two darts at it. Decent marker. 48. Oh, just inside. So the favourite double this. Uh, double 16 is not too bad. Double 8 is pretty good. I'm doing my best for you, Fallon. I'm doing my best for you. Uh, <laughs> she doesn't the need any line. help from me Finisher. or anybody else right Fifth now. 4 0. Very impressive. Three. And now. Ros Bulmer's really got to hold on here somehow. You can see the difference in the 16. quality in those figures. No question about it. Well, 88.41. We Sorry, mate. Oh, we saw the first uh, the first match of the day. Two of the best men's 100. players in the BDO. Ross Montgomery and Karl McKinstry. They would have struggled to live with the figures that Fallon Sherrick is putting up in this one. 88.9. 100. Is perfectly good enough to really give anyone a game yes she's One of rarely the been 14. under pressure of course but uh, she's playing the board and that's the beauty of it playing beautiful beautiful darts 100 and I'm pleased for Roz as well because Roz has played well it's not like she's folded or crumbled in any way couple of turns in this leg to keep her in touch Fallon has hit a ton and a ton 81. 40 yeah Ros has played I think well but not well enough in fairness with the average she's got deserving of a semi-final place I think we have 85. to be we have to be accurate and honest about that um, she's done well to get to this stage she's found someone now who is on fire this is absolutely brilliant this is as good a, a performance I've seen from Fallon for a long long time and uh, very, very impressive. She's going to be averaging round about 90. 45. And uh, wants double top for a 5 0 victory. And she has swept her opponent aside in brilliant fashion. There Game we are. A brilliant, shot. brilliant victory and for Fallon Sherrick. And uh, a 5 0 success. Ros Bulmer, I think she's a smashing lady, she's a great sport and she's a darn good dart player. But there are darn good dart players and there are Jimerson with Fallon. Yeah, thank you very much John. Fallon, congratulations on a brilliant performance. John said on commentary, that's the best he's seen you play that he can remember. Is that something that you'd agree with as well? Um, yeah, on telly, it's, I mean, I can do it, like, I can hit 30 averages in practice, but I've never actually done it on stage. Is that particularly pleasing for you? Because I know you had to work so hard to get here and been 3-0 down in the quarter-final. It's almost if you just carried on from there. one is all over the place, 13 dart legs. You must fill you with so much confidence heading into the final now. 
I'm just happy with how I played and I, I mean after that performance I do have a lot of confidence but I'll just see how it goes in the final. Well congratulations on making it, we can't wait to watch you later, it should be a great game either way, congratulations. Thank you.